Good morning. Fencing again today. Uh, we didn't get as far as we wanted to yesterday with everything else going on and it just, yesterday was a comedy of errors. It just, if it could go wrong, it did. So he's airing the tire on the loader, um, making sure it's full and then we're going to head over and start cutting down some or trimming some trees and uh, doing whatever we need to do to clean that up so we can fix the fencing and keep our sheep in. So I'm afraid today is going to be a lot of me standing around. He's in the loader and I'm basically waiting till he gets stuff cleared before I can do anything. So kind of wishing I had a few more layers on. Yesterday was definitely the nicer day to do this. Today it's Sun's trying to come out, but uh, it ain't great. girl but got crushed right I'm not a huge fan of taking out trees like this but we got to do something to keep the sheep in so my plan is to plant more next spring we'll redo this whole side and I'll plant a bunch of trees along here Boy, does he make me nervous. So I am not a huge fan of taking down all these trees. However, if it keeps my sheep in, I will not be okay with it, but I will, I understand it. So the plan is next spring uh, to probably go ahead and replant a bunch of trees. I am, <laughs> so before we got married, I told him, I said, there is one thing I have to have and that is trees. So every year we make sure we plant several trees just to keep me happy, so. I will. There's a couple different places I can go get some bigger trees. We have a friend that owns a tree farm, so I will go and get some from her. And then uh, I will probably order some little seedlings and just put in probably a, no, probably at least 50 trees, if not more. We'll see how ambitious I get come spring. 
so we managed to get the wash out pretty good but we need to do something to fill in these gaps and then over here there's some trees down that have taken out the fence completely so um, I think he's gonna just keep pushing up dirt and trees and try to keep everything contained as best as possible <laughs> had an oops. Yeah, so, uh, well, he was trying to lift one of these tree trees, it, uh, rolled off the bucket. So, um, he broke the window and then we just went ahead and chained it to the bucket so I'm gonna go unchain it and then we'll go back for another one about him using the trees as a fence but it's actually turning out really well and they'd be hard pressed to get in or get out through all of this stuff. That's the last tree we're gonna put out for today. We're probably a little better than halfway. But the other half that we need to do is gonna take a lot of tree trimming and that's where we're gonna put the woven wire fence up or welded wire or whatever the heck it's gonna be called. But all this is done in just those trees and tree branches and Well, I think that is going to be as much as we're going to be able to get done tonight. Uh, we need to bring the sheep in before dark because that's how we lose them if we don't bring them in before we can't see them. Um, and then tomorrow we'll just finish the rest of that fence. We've got some branches and some trees that need pulled down so that we can put the, um, I forget what it is, if it's a woven wire or a welded wire, it's a wire fence. So we can put the actual fencing up, not the tree fencing. And then Hopefully we can keep the sheep in because this, this has actually gone smoother than I thought it would. Um, it's still been a project, but it's gone smoother than I thought it would. So hopefully this will, this will keep the neighbors appeased to keep me from losing my ever loving mind. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be good all the way around. I hope. Good morning. We are about to head out and do the second half of that fencing. Honestly, I don't know if it's gonna go faster or slower or be about the same, but I have high hopes that we can get it done decent amount of time today so that we can kind of have part of our day off, but my husband doesn't think so. He, think it's just, he thinks it's going to be an all day ordeal again, so I guess we'll see.
spot. Oh, about from here across. Well, we got to do some cleanup there. But all this opened up to be able to put fencing along here. And then just on the other side of him, this kind of loops a little bit and that's, that's the end. So we don't have terribly far to go. Yeah, right in this clearing here. It's not quite what I thought he meant when he said we would trim the trees, but it's working. goal is to pull off these branches without taking down any of the fencing that's already there so that we can use the T posts and the wood posts to put up our fencing. And so far, so good. We've got it open all the way from see right here is where we're going to start the fence and then all the way across here and he's just cleaning up the last little bit but it's going to go all the way to this post right here so we're actually making headway but he's going to just clean up the branches that are right here and then I think we're going to get wire in my mind we're going to get wire we'll see what's on his mind he could be doing more trimming for all I know we've got two spots we need to take the chainsaw to but yeah it's so far so good not my favorite tool in the world. No, but I don't want to go all the way back to the house to get a hammer either. But at least we're getting the fence up. <laughs>